Hello everybody, I'm Michelle for vegan.com and today we are showing you how to make your very own almond milk. A lot of people have been asking us for an almond milk recipe so here it is. All you're going to need is one cup of raw almonds that have been soaked overnight, some maple syrup, about two tablespoons, one teaspoon vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, three cups of water, a nut milk bag, which is similar to a cheesecloth except for in bag form, and it's got really, really fine holes so you can strain the milk and remove the fiber. And finally, you're going to need a very high-powered blender. Today we are using the Blendtec, which is one of my favorite kitchen tools, but you can also use a Vitamix or a similar high-powered blender. So let's get started making our own almond milk and I'll show you how it's done. All right, the first thing we're gonna add is our one cup of soaked almonds. It winds up being much more than a cup once they're soaked because they poof up and grow in size. Now we're gonna add our three cups of water. Now we have two tablespoons of maple syrup. And this is what we're using as the sweetener. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this is what's giving it that flavor that you're used to from the almond milk in the grocery store. Otherwise, the really nutty flavor is gonna come through. All right, now we are ready to go. So we're gonna blend this on high until it gets really creamy and milky. And at that point, we're gonna turn it off and strain it through our nut milk bag. own almond milk. This is such a simple recipe that anyone can make at home. I really hope you give it a try. This is mm, so creamy, a little bit sweet. You can taste the vanilla and an entirely different upgraded experience to drinking almond milk than the almond milk you find in the store. It's super fresh, it's delicious, it's less expensive because you're making it on your own and it's even more rich and creamy. You guys can find the full recipe at vegan.com slash almond milk. I'll include the link below. And as always, you can find tons more bite-sized vegan videos, tips, recipes, and lots of other great content over at vegan.com. So I hope you'll check that out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.